Um, we need to solve a murder mystery. Hey. Yeah, Bennett is accused. Any news of Bennett? They seem to have taken him to the barracks and tossed him into the dungeon. How can we get him out of there? I don't have any ideas so far. I can't get to his cell to talk to him. All I can do is keep my ears open, but there isn't much to learn around here. If I hadn't seen it. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about that. Botrus would have my head. I have no idea what the German language option is. Ornament received. Uh, what? Fragment of a large ornamental ring. Uh, doesn't say anything to me. Guess we'll go talk to Bennett first. See what that, where that gets us. He's being accused of murdering a paladin. I wonder why... Well, there's the lowest chance he did it, but why would he? I want to see the prisoners. We put away the swine who murdered Lothar the Paladin. Okay, but... That's not exactly what I want to... How come you're in the slammer? Those swine have thrown me in the hole. I'm supposed to have murdered a paladin. But I didn't do it. They're only trying to frame me. Why would they do that? How would I know? You've got to get me out of here. Talk to Lord Hagen. Tear down the wall. Who cares? Just do something. What happened? I went downtown with Hodges to buy some supplies for our boys. Suddenly we heard a loud scream and the sound of running feet. Get to the point. We knew at once that something had happened and that they would grab us at once if they saw us there. We ran like hell, then just before we got to the city gate, I tripped and sprained my ankle. The rest is soon told. The militia was on me at once and they threw me straight into this hole. Who was murdered? I have no idea. One of the paladins. I don't know them. Have you got a name? Some Lothar, I think. Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure. You had better ask Lord Hagen. He knows all the details. Do they have any evidence against you? They say they have a witness who recognized me. Well, do you know who the witness is? No, all I know is that he's lying. Who's leading the investigation? Lord Hagen himself. Since the victim was one of the paladins, this falls under martial law. What does that mean? That's easy to guess. If I don't get out of here, they're going to let me swing without further ado. You've got to help me or there'll be a war. Lee's not going to take this lying down. You can figure out for yourself what that means. Yeah, that's a big problem. We have enough troubles with dragons and the like. What about Bennett, the blacksmith? You mean the mercenary? He is sitting in jail where he belongs. Can I talk to him? Certainly. Just go in. 
but if you try to help him escape, you will be in for it. Okay. Seems simple enough. More of a question do we have a uh, basically a murder or his uh, accomplice accusing him or uh, is this just a mistake mistake or misunderstanding? But the human and the beast waged war upon the land of Adonis. Mm. The wrath of the gods was with them. It's a bad business. I hardly know what to believe anymore. Not what I heard. Paladins aren't all the easy to take down, though. So, oh, who could have even who could have even done that? I'm no better off myself. In a one on one situation where he expects trouble to Paladin, I that's not gonna be an easy job. I need to talk to you about Bennett, but that's the mercenary who murdered one of my men. How come you're so sure that Bennett is the killer? We have a witness. As you can see, there is no doubt about the mercenary's guilt. Who is that witness? Cornelius, the governor's secretary, saw the murder. His description fits Bennett, no doubt about that. As far as I am concerned, that settles the matter. The mercenary will hang for treason. What? Why would it be treason? I suppose attacking a paladin is treason then. You saw the murder of Lothar, didn't you? I need not answer any questions about a current investigation. Lord Hagen already has everything I know on record. What was it you saw? Really, I haven't got any time now. You need to go now, the office is closing. So you would be who would you be protecting? That's basically the question, isn't it? Hey. There actually be a piece of paper somewhere with the descriptions. I need to. I believe that Bennett is innocent. The evidence is clear, he is guilty. So, what if the proof is wrong? Be careful what you say, you raise some serious accusations. If you cannot present me with evidence that the witness lied, then you had best hold your tongue. How come you're so sure that Bennett is the killer? We have a witness. As you can see, there is no Who is that? Cornelius. His description fits Bennett. The mercen- Okay. Cornelius is refusing to speak to her. Yeah. Uh
I talked to the Tell me that isn't true. Where did it happen Same anyway? You don't have to tell me that. Wonder if I can talk to the judge. What's new? One of Onar's mercenaries murdered the honorable paladin Lothar. But the bastard was caught and tossed in prison. Suppose we could discuss this issue further with the... with the mercenaries uh, in the city. So you're one of us. Then I got some useful information for you. Some of the houses up here have secret panels that can only be opened by hidden switches. People hide their valuables behind them. Well, it's gonna be useful when we go after the goblets, isn't it? Well, probably will exp explains why we only know the location of three of them. The rest are behind the hidden, hidden walls or. Show me your wares. Do you have anything useful? No. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Bennett again and talk to our contact at the harbor. See if they have ideas about Cornelius. Pickpocketing and stealing would be mine, or I don't think we can really threaten him. He's clearly lying. It's been known a long time. Nobody wants to know. Question is lying about what exactly? Just because he isn't telling the truth doesn't mean he's uh, He's involved in the murder himself. I, I would guess he, he's basically a uh, AA to someone, and he's uh, he's forced him to lie lie about the issue. He he doesn't seem to be the kind of guy who would uh, if he could do the murder, he wouldn't be so nervous about the testimony because his own life would depend on hey, it. Hey, you. I need you. And what exactly? Go away. Don't tell me that. What about some better armor? Hmm. Mateo sells armor. But he'll probably. Ch there is a way you could get it cheaper. What do you mean? There's a storage area next to Mateo's house. But all the merchandise has been confiscated by the militia. Go to Zurus at the marketplace and get yourself a sleeping spell. Then you send the guards off to Dreamland. I'm sure you'll find some decent armor among Mateo's stock. I, take care of everything for everybody. I need a better weapon. There's That's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. He simply talks too much. So, it's useless talking to you. Yeah, why did you lock on to a guy? behind walls again. Uh, in general, I hate systems like this, where the AI knows better than you when it should be doing things. Sometimes it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I mean, if it automates what you want to do. You click on a target to, instead of a... If you're out of range to interact with it, uh, you automatically move closer and start the interaction. That sort of thing makes a lot of sense because it doesn't really think on its own. Here, where the, it's a uh, much, much more complicated what you want to do, really. The automatic target lock that really doesn't want to let go and forces uh, is uh, crippling your movement. That's, I, I don't get that.
I mean, you have a lock ability, so you can lock the target whenever you want. Why does it do? Does there have to be an alternative automatic lock that you can't disable? Okay, this. An... What with? I don't know. What exactly are we supposed to do? Hey, you. I I don't get why the game is trying to make this uh more difficult for me than it already is. I mean, why not just provide me with an? Uh, let me see what basically the guy hey. told about the. Uh, ben Bennett, this, what was the description? Where was he? Something, some facts about what happened, so I would go after something specific. Hey. Now it's uh. No one wants to talk about the issue, and the guy we've been directed towards says he doesn't want to talk to us. In a game where your options are basically, you don't have role-playing options, and you can beat be the shit out of people. But the light was a what exactly am I supposed to do? Start All beating him or something? Was by I guess we can try to go through his stuff, That's see if we can uh, get something that way. But uh, I don't see why that would help. Uh, I don't see why they can't tell me the murder location or something. Some information about it so I could investigate. You don't have to tell me that. I'm no better off myself. You don't have to tell me that. That was obvious all uh, let's look at the information closely. Bennett murdered a paladin. His apprentice Hodges says he's innocent. He dare, daren't enter the city. Lord Hagen should be able to tell more. He is in charge of the investigation. There is a witness, blah blah blah. I'll have to find him if I want to discover the truth. Cornelius, the governor's secretary, is the witness. He claims that we just murdered. Cornelius is refusing to speak. So, one way or another, we need to change his mind. We come back at a different hour when the governor isn't here. Enough of that. What did you see? I... I saw how the mercenary struck down the paladin from behind. And then he took his sword and rammed it through his chest. Are you completely sure? Yes, of course. I saw it with my own eyes. But I really haven't got any time now. There's a huge pile of paperwork I need to do. I don't believe you. So what? What are you going to do about it? Uh... Okay, it's just a bad, badly implemented dialogue tree. There's no tree, you have to restart conversations. They could make you talk in the monastery. What do you mean by that? Well, we have ways to bring out the truth. Painful ways. No, please don't. I'll tell you everything you want. So what really happened? I didn't see what happened. I received some gold for blaming that mercenary. In times like these, it's everyone for himself. 
I needed that money. Who paid you? That's enough. He'll kill me if I rat him out. Are you going to tell that to Lord Hagen too? I'm not a lunatic. I can't stay in town now. I'll give you my diary. That should be proof enough. Of course you have a diary. Who doesn't really? If Valerius keeps on like that, I'm going to look look for another position. Something strange happened to me last night. I was visited in my home by an, by one of those guys in black hoods we hear so much about lately. I wasn't really nervous, even though they're supposed to be so evil. You could almost feel the power those men have, but the voice was calm and kind of made you want to trust the guy. He offered me 20,000 pieces of gold to make sure one of the mercenaries gets convicted. He said I'd know what he meant to when it happened. Of course I agreed right away. Those mercenaries don't deserve any better anyway. If it weren't for them, everything would be just fine for me here, and the gold will let me settle down to a comfortable retirement. It happened. They have arrested one of those mercenaries. It should be easy to keep my word. Oh, 20,000. That's a decent price, I'd say. Cornelius lied. How did you know that? Here, I've got his diary. Everything's in there. That slimy little criminal! In view of the new evidence, there is nothing else I can do. By virtue of the office granted me by king and church, I declare that the prisoner Bennett is exonerated of all charges and is thereby a free man. Cornelius is to be taken into immediate custody for perjury. He's made himself scarce. Sooner or later he will turn up, then we shall arrest him. Um... Suckiest murder investigation I recall in a long time. That's all just gossip. Because there's no discovering really anything or finding out anything. You talk to the guy, you talk to the, I guess, leader of the investigation, then talk to the witness and have to realize that you have to keep talking and talking and talking and talking and then it just sold itself. You don't have exactly options, you don't have to get him to talk again, or tricking him to reveal something, it's just most simplistic and painful way you could probably do that. So that's all. Ah, oh, gobble and hunting, I guess. Doubt will let me much experience, but maybe money. Uh, did he get released already? It's fine. Yep. Mission complete. Didn't get shit from that. I guess we'll have to talk to... Talk to the smith again. Well, we have the deportation wounds. I'll talk to the guy at the harbor. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything or that I don't have to maybe teleport all, all over the place. Of 
By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. The Smith Bennett has been declared free of guilt because his innocence... Yeah, we basically haven't really earned anything from this. Let's wait and see what happens. Hey, you! Is it really true? Nobody ever asks me. Hey, you! So, what's our reward? Man, and here I was thinking they'd really hang me. Well, it worked all right in the end. You can say that again. You should have seen the face of the soldier when he had to let me out. He was so scared, he almost did it in his pants. Which reminds me, I've got something for you. What do you mean? A present. That's I probably could go better off myself. What present? We have heard of the dragons that are said to be in the valley. They're really there. All right, I believe you. Anyway, I thought you would surely want to participate in the upcoming dragon hunt. And? Here, take this amulet. I think you'll need it more than I do. Please be fire resistance, please be fire resistance. It was. Why haven't I heard about this? Yeah. That's not what I heard. Mana bonus, mana bonus. Amulet was my one hope of getting something other. We do need the mana quite a bit. Uh, we could still give up 5 points though. Or increase fire resistance. But I'm not sure if it's fire or magic. Well, we have a... Let's wait and see what happens. Uh, it probably reads magic. I'm not telling you anything new. 75 magic damage. So... We took enough magic resistance that should allow us to at least stay in the fight a bit longer and uh, might make a serious difference because our magic resistance is only 25 so 10-15 points extra to that and it's a significant resistance bonus. Nobody will learn anything Would basically cut the damage we take in half. We would go from four or five bowls to eight. Still won't make much of a difference because we can't do damage. Either way, I'll try to take the blood chalices now too. Hopefully it's not too big of a deal. Uh, I mean there aren't that many houses. Uh, do we have sleep scrolls? No. I'd like to buy, because if we really have to go through... Some of the guards are guarding some of the houses very, very tightly. Hey! Show me your wares. These are bad times. With this, uh, with the sleep, hey, I you. might be made... We just need one. Show me your wares. I might be able to make sure that we can get everywhere we need to That's get to. Secret. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I won't tell her a thing from now on. I won't tell her a thing from now on. You don't 
and say. And he works all day too. Go away, don't tell me that. You don't say. You don't say. Built of a magic defense. Now that's typical, isn't it? Yeah, I'll take it. Don't tell this to anyone. These are bad times. Strength plus three. Even worse. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Naturally, it's not a bad thing, but and it works all we do use our uh, ha hand uh, melee attacks constantly. So That's if we could creep it. that uh, bonus up little by little, we might be able to change weaponry uh, at some point. I'm not sure how much of a difference it would make, but it might make a serious, serious difference. That's an open that's not what I heard. Yep. I don't believe that. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Everything. It can't go on like this forever. Um, no, no, no. We need to rest until nightfall. And so he bade Enos to leave a part of his power in his realm so that he might restore it to the human I can't take care of everything for everybody now that's typical isn't it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes these are bad times I think we have two blood chalice at the moment One. I'm certain I haven't sold a any one of them. So. We'll have to go through all the houses, I guess, because I, I have no recollection of which one I have explored and which not, so. Thievery. Let's see if we can do it. Might as well want to visit the thieves guild anyway. Nobody will learn anything from me. See if there's new jobs. I don't think there are because we haven't even completed this. Ah, uh, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let me take a kiss. You don't have a blast cup. This looks like a place we've uh, stolen from before. The, it has nothing, absolutely nothing. Still, it might have hidden switches or something. How would you know? Yeah, we've been here. How would you know the hidden switches, though? I mean, because the target lock is quite severe here. Okay, we'll assume Diego does not have it, have any chalices. This sort of looks like this has been visited to There's absolutely nothing on the tables. Mm. There aren't that many houses in total in this place. There's three uh, 
I think here, two to three on the other side, so either way. Yeah, it certainly looks like this is being cleaned out. I didn't particularly see any switches either. Well, I, I wouldn't know how we can spot them. Doesn't look so good, uh, good so far. There's one, two, three, four still here. This looks up. Uh, Quite empty too. I think I'll come to mix things up a bit. Lambo. Wait a minute. Patrols are moving around. This might be a great uh, time to get into one of these places. Like this, it's being cleaned up too. No. Note of the venture. I'm not seeing anything here either. Ah, shit, this is not good. Let's look at the note. For payment of outstanding debts, a pawned item shall be accepted, whose value equals that of the debt. Pawned. A decorated gold chalice of the Blood Chalice Collection, signed Lutero the Merchant, to Lemar the Pawnbroker. That's very useful. Could you please not stare at me? Crap. We're now trapped here. No, I don't think so. Please stop. I doubt it has another blood chalice. Ah, ah shit. That has a chest. I don't think this has anything. 
so. As long as these guys are here, might as well explore the other, other houses. So that's two. Third would be in the governor's mansion. Yeah, not seeing anything here, but we already got a blood chalice, so... Everything goes. Food and the plates too. Not sure if we have to be sneaking around here. I think we've opened this door, otherwise it's locked. The key. This isn't too big of a deal. We... Unless there's some truly hidden places or chests we haven't uh, opened up yet, there's no way there's six of those chalices here. And I'm fairly certain that there are six chalices here. We should have at least two now. What do we do? Third one is with the pawnbroker. There's three, four apartments still left, so we only need to find. I think we search this one too. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. We haven't. Because I, when I've been through an area, it's not going to be anything left. that bread and gin honey wine wine water That's Valentino, isn't it? No.
do you want here? Go! Shit. Take your paws off of that! You have no business being here. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. Okay, do not hey, you're not quite as stupid for as any you look. reason save inside the building. Uh, uh, people behave a bit oddly when you load things. People far, far away immediately spotted us. I think we don't, we shouldn't really fail in the lockpicking attempts that can uh, waken up someone. So this is gonna take a few attempts. Always have to come back here. Something else. Didn't help us at all. You have to be missing some of those uh, hidden triggers, switches, whatever. Well, well, well. There's three houses left. Uh, There's a fairly high probability that we've already missed one. Fairly, fairly high, I'd say. This is not a good time to go in here. Levitating a paladin there too. Mm, they're not here during daytime. So this is just silly. Okay. Who are you, citizen? This room had, a, had one of those switches, but it's very easily seen here. It's not being highlighted though. That's an important thing to notice. So you actually do have to look with your own eyes. I don't recall what it did.
we probably taken the item anyway. And as I said, this is a stupid time to come to this place in the first place. During daytime, there's no risk of anything bad really happening to you. Now, you smack in the middle of a half a dozen sleeping paladins. It, it looks like we'll probably have to take another swing at it this at some time. Simply because uh, I for uh, I sort of assumed that it, it, the game automatically locks onto those switches. It does not. So I didn't I didn't really look for them. Ah, uh, it's already daytime. So there's a couple of. Uh, Buildings that we couldn't enter. Yeah, the switches are uh, shouldn't be hard to spot though. But spot them you must. Yeah, it's a single switch, and I think we have a permission to be here anyway. Oh, what's up? Yeah, there's nothing to indicate that that's a switch. Absolutely nothing. So, I guess it's. Yeah. Crap. I'll never get this open without the right key. So, which one of you has the key? That doesn't really require pickpocketing. We, we could try Oblivion. Hmm. Maybe we could abandon the quest. Either way, it doesn't look good. It certainly looks like, first and foremost, anything really could be a switch. You should not be just looking around, you should be trying to click constantly to see if something sticks. We have the... Or Amulet of Search. Maybe something like this could be used. How would that really help? Find me something. Get me anything you can find. Um, it hasn't been trained to really do anything. It's just following me around. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, it's starting to look very much like a situation where I'm just gonna say uh, 
fuck it. It's uh Unless we get desperate, I mean some of the chalices have to be in uh, containers. Uh, I don't see any alternative to that. And a uh, hidden lock chest would be one of those places I would assume they, one of them is. I doubt I can just ask for his key. I can't lock pickets or anything to get the key. Alternatives are beat the shit out of the guy, cast oblivion, hopefully not alert the whole alarm the whole city, or uh, shouldn't the money lender be here. Uh, damn it! What do you want? I guess that chest is one of the places where he's going to be hiding things. Or... It's another... Another switch. It's a vicious switch. I doubt this kind of house would have it. So... Chase is the likeliest op option. Um, yeah, uh, I think we're gonna have to call on the board on this one. Uh, I'd have to redo all the goddamn houses. Either way, it sort of makes sense to buy a couple of Oblivion scrolls though. Even if we are not going to do it, there's certainly uses for it. I'm still not going to totally give up on those, but it will have to redo the search. Hey, show me your wares. Transform into fire leader, yes. And dragon snapper, yes. And a couple of oblivion scrolls. Excellent. Now oh, I'm broke, but uh, I'm not really broke. I have a huge amount of crap. I just haven't sold. This guy might have something interesting too. Either way. We'll probably be ending things here. What we really need is not money anyway. We need experience. It's a shame to end it like this. I I sort of want to finish it just for the sake of uh, finishing in. At least give it a, a decent try. The test will be: Can we get the key? I would ha let's assume it's if the judge has it. I'm going to go into your house too, see if there's any bot haunts we can place here. We can't see. This doesn't look suspicious or anything. one of these. We've already gone through this. Book stand of nothingness. Yeah, I would say the, there's nothing the only thing we're so gonna what do. was your business in there, huh? Well, where? 
Bumbo is here. There's no guards on this side then. But then there's uh, gonna be citizens here. And you. You're only looking at one. Yeah, this is a. Uh, they're gonna see me. They do a switch up at the evening, though. Be the time to sneak in. Never get this open without the right key. I'll never get this open without the right key. Okay, second lock chest. But this time it's a random citizen living here. Holland's key. And the, even the keys are not sort of grouped together. Ah, crap. So, more keys that you were supposed to get from someplace. Okay, out of the way. Where's Oblivion? Let's beat the shit out of the judge and see if we can just Oblivion him. If not, I, I'm, I, I think I, I'll just attack for him. This. Yeah, for Inos. Okay, he's a uh, mission critical, so we can take him down anyway. Uh, abort, 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 abort. I'm abandoning the Blood Chalice quest. It will never be completed. I, I'm not. I have no interest in taking people getting. We don't have the excess points to waste on such things anyway. So, what ex exactly are we gonna do? Um, there are a couple of things I would like an answer for right now. One is, I think there's magic resistance items somewhere. I, where were they? Probably at the monastery. We have a ring, I think. Or was an amulet? It was a ring. Magic protection ring of 10. No, it was a belt. So, rings and amulets would still be okay. Excellent. If seekers are going to be our main problem here, we might as well make preparations as much as we can. There's three merchants here. At least there should be. Three in total. I guess it's not morning technically yet.
we in theory we could get something like 40 points to magic resistance that's not gonna happen we're not gonna find that many good items but five points on maybe both the rings and an amulet if we're lucky so I need a few yeah, yeah. weapon protection well that's not useful at all and not in this situation Arrow protection, weapon protection, magic protection, we already have this. Yeah, no, not helpful at all. There is also another test I want to take. One is, we have a scroll of lightning. What I basically want to do is, how effective would that be? It's a better spell than a fireball, so it's not a fair comparison. But I'd like an indication of how much many hit points does the bastard have. Show me your wares. Magic protection two, fire protection two. It, it just isn't particularly good. Hmm. Transform into Snapper. Could buy those. Lizard does the job too, and it's uh, much cheaper. Yeah, we have four gold now. Excellent. But I think we're in a fairly good position. I do want to kill the, some of the seekers on the road so I can at least move around a little bit. More than happy to sacrifice a little bit of gold to do it. Anyway, there should be one more shopkeeper here. Hey, show me what you have. Show me your wares. Hmm. You have nothing of real value. Bowl light. Okay. Uh, was... Yeah, yeah, no, it's, you know, it's not. Uh, I want to test uh, lightning for ending. It's not going to be of, of any real use at the moment. It's more of an indication of uh, how effective focusing on uh, spell solutions against these is going to be. This is uh, more or less double damage compared to fireball. Well, we could do do it this way. First, cast fireball and see if it. Uh, what's the difference between the damage? Is it just going to double it, or is it going to massively over shot it? Naturally, it, it should somewhat do more than double, because they will have resistances, and naturally, a much smaller number is reduced in proportion from the 150. I mean, it's quite simple. If you do 75 damage and 50 points gets reduced only to 25 damage, if from a 150 you still do 100 damage. So even though the reduction is the same, the other spell does four times the damage.
but we need to find out is it a combination of high resistance to our spell or high resistance to our fire magic? Yeah, it's more of a high resistance to fire magic. However, we would still be looking at a huge amount of effects. 150 probably needs 4 hits, so heavy magical resistance on the Seeker certainly. This shouldn't make too big of a difference. It makes quite a big of a difference in the end. Yeah, what? Yeah. It's quite a significant difference. It doesn't make a difference between victory or defeat, but it does may make a significant difference. Not good enough at this point to turn the tables. But a couple of more items like that, it would certainly help. Point two. Spellcasting solutions are not solutions for a while. It would have to be tier 4 at least before we can look at that. Physical attacks with our attack values are not good enough. We can't use weaponry or bows, it, it just won't do. So I'm not quite sure what can I do. I, I think evasion tactics are or turning myself into a monster are actually a fairly good option at this point. Naturally, we can avoid uh, using Roach, which we probably mostly will. But what the hell are we gonna do next? I think we're gonna go to the forest, maybe. Another would be the. Ooh, that might be an option. The Bandit Camp to the southeast from the. Basically, directly south from the land or the farm was controlled by those. Uh, yep, exactly those seekers. So, what we could do, because it's, uh, it's nowhere near any kind of settlement, is go there, maybe change our form, and see what we can do. Yeah, where's the, where's the rune? Yeah, basically head south and there's be uh, some kind of a group of seekers who went to the bandit hide out there. And we might as well that's also where the pirate was. Hmm. Wonder what the reaction is. Yeah, and there's more seekers. So my plan is more or less turn into a beast a little bit farther away from the landowner farm. Though I don't want any mercenaries coming after me, and going in there and killing as many as we can with the. Okay, that's how many. No, it's a single seeker. Okay, there's probably quite a few more. But one on one with in animal animal form, we should be able to take down a seeker without taking all that much damage. So, yeah, let's see how that works. <laughs> 